my favorite scripture is Joshua 1 9 and the reason why it's my favorite scripture is because it says be bold be courageous for the Lord be with you wherever you may go and I can't think about a better example than what I'm about to tell you now I was a senior at my alma mater my favorite school in the world North Carolina A&T State University and I was a journalism mass communications major and in the fall semester, myself and a few of my classmates, we got accepted into this wonderful uh, opportunity for networking and internship and job opportunities in New York City. And boy, when we got the email that we had got accepted, we were excited and we were just, we couldn't wait to get to New York. And then we realized we don't have any money. Where are we going to get the money to? A, purchase the plane tickets to get to New York, and then B, how are we going to eat when we get there? Where are we going to stay? What are we going to do? So we said, you know what? We're going to ask for money. We went to the Dean of the College in Arts and we asked him for some money. And of course he told us, sorry, unfortunately, we don't have any money for you. My classmates and I, we said, okay, no problem. So we didn't give up, but we re-strategized. The very next day, we got out of our classes and we walked to the provost office, the provost office. We talked to her secretary. We asked if we could meet with her for a few minutes. And of course, they granted us the opportunity after about a very brief five to 10 minute presentation telling her what we needed the money for and how it could help us professionally and how it would be a great representation of the school. She said, you got a deal. We are going to write a check for you all. We're going to give you all a stipend so that you can go to New York and you can have this wonderful opportunity with this conference. We walked out of the office, we celebrated, we were going to New York a few months later. Uh, we went to New York and had an amazing time at the conference. It was not until a few weeks ago, I was on the phone with one of my classmates who was a part of that conference with me. And I had a moment. I said, do you realize that when we were seniors in college, 21 years old, we walked to the provost office, the second person in command, the provost office of the school and asked for money. We didn't have any plan. We didn't have any pitch that we prepared. We were simply acting on faith. And that faith that we demonstrated, uh, we didn't go in there thinking we would fail. We didn't think that we we were going to uh, be denied the opportunity to go and she was going to say thanks uh, for coming and, and meeting with me, but we don't have the money. We went in with no intentions to fail. We were operating 100% on faith. We were acting boldly. We were acting courageously. And that's my message for you this week. If Joshua was bold enough to ask the Lord for the sun to stand still, what do you think the Lord can do in your life? With your relationship, with your job, with your finances, act boldly, act courageously as if you cannot fail. Because with faith, you cannot fail. And with the Lord, you cannot fail. This week, be bold, be courageous.